everyone and welcome to Feywood. Um, I have this cool little head uh, headband on today. I was actually meaning to wear this in the previous video I just filmed, which is this sort of Christmassy eye look that I just did um, in a get ready with me and completely forgot about this. I got this from Jen as an early Christmas present with some other things as well and I, as soon as she gave it to me we were actually out having a drink and I put it straight on and was wearing it like all afternoon. <laughs> I don't know if she expected me to to do that, she didn't seem too phased. Um, I love it, I think it's super cute so I think this might become my um, headband for doing makeup. You know I can use it to sort of pull my hair back. Let's give it a try. Yeah, pulls the hair back there. Got my little ears and my unicorn horn. I think it's so cute. Um, so I just did a get ready with me um, video, you know, sort of Christmas look and everything, chatting about some things uh, for the end of the year and that sort of thing. So if you want to see how it did this eyeshadow look, just check that one out. Um, and I thought while I'm at it, I've got some things that I got ages ago, um, you know, Black Friday stuff and some stuff I got even before Black Friday uh, when I went op shopping. And I've had it here just waiting to share with you guys and I've just have not had time. So um, this is like my bargain haul because I got so many things um, so cheap like I really didn't spend much on what I'm going to show you because uh, all the makeup stuff was um, somewhere between 30 and 50 percent off regular price um, and then all the stuff that I got at the op shop totaled I think $30 and once you see how much I got I don't know I'm impressed so and I miss op shopping I haven't been for forever and we just happened to stop in and I had a bit of a look around grabbed a few things and yeah pretty pretty happy with what I got anyway let me jump in so Black Friday there was some sales on for makeup um, and I got a few different things I went to Beauty Bay because they had various sales um, some of the stuff that I got a lot of it was for other people um, for some gifts but then I also grabbed a few things for myself and I haven't even opened this yet and I can't wait to see what they look like but I got another brush set from BH Cosmetics um, there it was super cheap I think it was $25 um, and which was discounted I can't remember maybe from 40 or something like that um, but great price I just wanted a few different eye brushes I actually wanted a face brush as well um, I've been wanting to do some different types of eye looks and I feel like I've got some good brushes but I sometimes wish I had a few more detailed brushes and things so I'm just opening this now and we'll have a look that's a nice little um, container that it comes in this will be handy for when we travel because in a couple of days we're going to Marimbula for Christmas and that's where my husband's family um, or her, his um, mother and father and sister live and so we're going to go visit them for Christmas oh look at all these now I really enjoyed um, if you've been watching my other videos and you've seen um, me talk about the BH Cosmetic brushes, I got their Marble Lux set. Really love it. Still use it um, a lot. Like they're super soft. I think they're really good quality uh, synthetic brushes and really reasonably priced. The set for me ended up with shipping I think about 70 Australian dollars for the Marble Lux. Um, and yeah, so I thought I'll go BH again because I've enjoyed their brushes and I thought this one had mainly eye brushes, which is I, I did want a range of new eye brushes to try and um, do some more detailed looks. So I've been doing a few cut creases lately and wanting to you know be a bit more detailed with my color placement um, because sometimes I just fall into this you know oh, I'll just use my fluffy brushes and I, I just sort of shade the color and 
it's not anything very precise and I'd like to start doing more precise looks so ooh, these look quite good so I mean I have to try these out there's a few like rogue longer hairs on them that I'm noticing which is a, a bit of a shame um, they feel pretty good like these packer brushes are nice and stiff which is what you want the blenders soft again that's what you want um, looks like a contour brush I don't do a lot of contouring uh, but you know maybe I might start because I've got quite a round face so it probably wouldn't hurt to do some contouring I liked the look of that I don't actually have I don't or maybe I do have a brush like that no I don't think I do um, you know for eyeliner or what have you just more detailed work dot dotting larger packer again there's a couple of just odd hairs that are slightly longer I can probably trim that though so that's okay um, I won't open all of these but there are some very nice ones in here I'm just gonna there's these more sort of precise ones that I was keen to try out you know just again for some more detailed placement of color if I want to do something a bit more detailed maybe I want to get a bit more precise in the cut crease area or I want to you know use it for some sort of detail -y work or something I think they'll be quite nice so I got those um, from Beauty Bay as well I got this which I've swatched on my hand already and I've managed to make a mess of the bottle in doing so um, the Makeup Revolution uh, what do they call it? Conceal and Define uh, Full Coverage Foundation so I saw I've seen a lot of people use this and some people loved it some didn't um, I saw Casey Holmes using it and loved it and so far my makeup style or my makeup opinions kind of gel with her her opinion opinions as well like a few of the powders she's used I've really loved um, I do quite like a full coverage foundation so I've enjoyed things that she's recommended before um, like medium to full it depends on the scenario but I have been looking for a nice full coverage foundation and this is so cheap and it was even cheaper for Black Friday it was like 11 Australian dollars crazy crazy prices usually 20 Australian dollars I think um, something like that or 15 maybe cheap still anyway so but I wasn't sure on the color and I thought oh this is a good opportunity to get it at a cheaper price because if the color doesn't work out then no big deal um, so I got the 6.5 F 6.5 apparently the colors are quite pale so um, and it seemed like weirdly it seemed like the lower numbers were lighter and then it went darker until it got to about 6.5 and then it went super light again and then darker again so I'm not sure it's kind of strange but I mean from what I can see that should work out all right um, I'm not going to put it on my face now but it looked maybe a tiny bit pale but I think um, pretty damn close to the point where you know a bit of powder should correct it but I won't know yet until I've put it on my face um, and I haven't used it yet because I've been waiting to share it with you guys um, I feel like the concealer is not quite right I was hoping for a lighter color actually I think I went to um, I didn't quite understand how the colors worked so I think I went to dark so I'm gonna swatch this so that's the foundation and I'm swatching the concealer next to it yes yeah, so you can see the foundation is lighter it seems than the concealer I chose which is not what you want um, 
but I thought this concealer might be good because it's got a pinky tone to it so it would potentially um, you know brighten up the eye area and things anyway so I'll have to give them a try see how they work out it could be that the foundation I should just get that a bit darker so we'll see but um, can't wait to give them a try and see if I like them as much as uh, some other people have liked them um, I also got this from Beauty Bay and this was discounted as well I believe this worked out to be about $12 or something like that um, I like Mario Badescu I really love his strawberry tonic mask really love that um, I haven't tried the other masks yet and I was almost gonna get another mask but I I think I've got about seven or eight masks to be honest so um, yeah I need to stop <laughs> and use those masks and when I run out of one of the masks then I can get another one so um, this is different stuff this is like a silver powder apparently you buff this into your face it's a bit of an exfoliant it's meant to help draw out um, blackheads and really refine the pores by clearing out all the junk um, I have very large pores because I am an oily skin type and over the last year or two my skin has just I don't know become crater pores um, I used to really like my skin um, and I always looked a little bit younger than my age which I enjoyed but then I don't know my skin just went and fell over and I don't know I don't know what happened it just went to the crapper and all fell apart everything was looking terrible pores looking large lots of crow's feet just it went downhill fast so um, yeah anything that helps pores I am on board with anything that helps crow's feet I'm on board with um, so I can't wait to give that one a go and see if it's good it had some really good feedback so fingers crossed um, I'll show you this one because it's random there's an Estee Lauder um, like outlet you know cheap factory outlet type thing um, at the DFO uh, which is a direct factory outlet uh, shopping mall here in Australia so we have a few DFO they, they call it DFO and the, all the direct factory outlets have their little shops there with discounted stuff um, and they have discounted MAC stuff there as well now um, this is a single eyeshadow $10 down from $44 Australian MAC prices are pretty up there um, I really enjoy MAC stuff though so but I don't get it all the time because it is pricey alright so seems like my camera got full uh, my memory card was full so sorry about that um, I think I was talking about this MAC uh, eyeshadow that I got from the Estee Lauder at DFO um, it's part of the Star Trek collection that they had um, I actually have one of the um, Dazzle glass glosses from that collection too um, I'm not a Trekkie I'm sorry if anyone is um, nothing against it I just haven't I just haven't watched it for years I used to watch it with my dad though my dad used to love it and I enjoyed watching it with him I just um, I didn't keep watching it from there so uh, maybe one of these days I'll get back around to watching it and might get back into it but um, it wasn't sort of a fan purchase this one it was um, I liked the eyeshadow uh, it looks fairly mundane in the palette um, but I swatched it and it had this really nice sparkle to it which I really liked I've already swatched it um, before but I'll try and get a good I'll try and get a really good swatch it's quite a pale gold it's hard to see but um, yeah I don't think that's coming up anywhere near as pretty as it is in real life um, I tried to sort of pack on a lot there it's just got it's like a very pale soft gold but it has a little bit of micro glitter in there which um, looks really pretty I think so I think you know packed on the eye will look really nice so for $10 I thought yeah why not I'll pick that up I mean I have got 
uh, other gold eyeshadows, but nothing quite like that one. So um, just trying to wipe my hands here from that swatch. <laughs> Wiping it on my tablecloth. Because I'm an adult and I'm allowed to do that now. <laughs> Uh, uh, this is yeah obviously this is like a an old tablecloth that I have down here so I have done all sorts of crafty bits and pieces on it and made a big mess of it um, because that's what it's there for this one all right now let's see um, I did an order through Priceline um, Priceline if you are not in Australia is um, like our drugstore, I guess, is the equivalent. We don't call it drugstore, though we call them either a chemist or a pharmacy. Uh, but Priceline sells a lot of the discount uh, makeup lines. You know, it's got your Maybellines, your, your L'Oreal's, um, all that sort of stuff uh, there. And they had a discount of 50%, which was fantastic. So... Um, but I was trying not to spend too much so I only got a few things um, and one of them is a backup and then a couple of things that I needed um, this is the backup so this is the L'Oreal um, Paradise Mascara and I really like it they call it Paradise Ecstatic or just Paradise Mascara um, and I think in the States it's called Lash Paradise. No idea why they feel they need different names for different countries, but there you go. Maybe they had to reformulate because I know some of our rules differ in what we can have in skincare and things than the States. Um, we seem to be more strict here. I don't know why because um, there's certain things I can't buy here because we're too strict. But anyway, I love this. It's so nice. Um, it's become my favorite. I this is from my get ready with me the one I was using and I've just gone through the whole lot of it pretty much I can barely get enough on my eyes so I had to do this video today because it's been sitting here and I want to use it and I was like no you can't use it until you share it with the people and here I am I've shared it with the people and now I need to bloody use it so um, yay um, I do really like that though and I've seen it tested next to the Better Than Sex mascara which supposedly it's a dupe for that and the wands look pretty similar um, but when I saw it and I haven't tried Better Than Sex mascara for my Too Faced so I have to be honest I should give it a go just to see how I feel about that one um, when I saw them side by side on someone else though I preferred the Lash Paradise so that's why I went straight for that one instead because it's cheaper and I liked it better on, on other people anyway. Now I did try and get a Real Techniques face brush. I wanted another face brush because I'm using this face brush. Now I don't know if you can tell but it's, it's a little cheap, it's a little wonky, it gets a little flat, it's a slightly scratchy. Um, it's definitely not as soft as my BH Cosmetics one, so I thought it's time. And, and I, I try to keep my certain brushes for certain powders so that, you know, I'm not using a bronzer brush that might have a bit of bronzer still in it for a face powder and end up with a bit too bronzy a face, you know, and that sort of thing. Um, my blush brush I don't use for anything but blush, that sort of thing. So I thought I'll get a face brush. But uh, turns out they were, even though it said in stock, they were out of stock. So they refunded me, but for some reason they gave me, I guess it's just as a nice thing. Um, they refunded me, but they gave me this little mini travel size one instead. And um, it's kind of cute. I mean, it could, could be good for travel. It's really, it's really small. Um, but we are traveling soon, so maybe I'll pack this one as well because it won't take up so much room. I don't, I don't think I would use this as a face brush. I think that would just, that'd be too tedious to try and do powder on your whole face with the tiny little brush like that. Uh, it could be good under the eyes, though. It could be good for highlighter, perhaps. I'm not sure, but I have it, so we'll see. Um, and then I wanted to try a one of these 
you know, tapered crease brush things. And I don't know if you can see that because it's shining in the light there. Uh, this Revlon Crease Shadow Brush. Uh, again, I was looking for some different shaped brushes, you know, for doing my eyes. And this shape looked really nice and it was half price. There wasn't a lot of brushes left. Everyone was buying them up because they were half price. So, you know, um, and brushes can be expensive. Even drugstore brushes can be expensive in Australia. I don't know what they're like for, for other countries, but we still pay, you know, you can easily pay $30, $40 for a drugstore brush, um, even though it should be cheaper. But anyway, so I'll give that a go and we'll see how that goes. And the last thing that I got from there was, oh no, second to last thing. Um, I got this gel liner. I've been looking for a black liner because this is all I have as far as a black pencil liner. Um, I mean, I, I like also the liquid liners, but for my waterline and, you know, I do a little bit of a tight line. And even on my top lid sometimes for eyeliner, I like the pencil because I'll smudge it in. Um, and so I've been trying trying to get one and every time I try I've been like refunded or they're out of stock or something like that. But this had really good feedback, this gel liner. So I now I haven't tried it. Um, it's been a long time since I've used a gel liner like this. The one that I had was um, it dried out before I could really make use of it but I've got Duraline now if I need to you know add a bit to make that more you know streamline like what am I what's the word I'm looking for I don't know um, water it down um, <laughs> like Duraline is just like um, sort of like an oil additive I don't know if it's made of oil but it, it is good for you know things like liners and stuff to water them down or to mix them with eyeshadows to make a liner and stuff like that so if I need to if it's too if it's not the right consistency I can water it down a bit um, and this looked like fun it's a glitter eye topper uh, I just got the one because I'm not sure what they're like and I think it was only seven dollars so you know, um, no big deal if it's not fantastic, but you know me and glitter, I love it. So if I see glitter, I'm just drawn to it like, you know, moth to a flame really. So I thought that'd be fun to try out. All right, so that's all the makeup and I'm gonna quickly have like show you guys these clothes. I'm not gonna do a try on this time. I'm running out of time. And um, so it's just gonna be showing you what I got. And I mean, their secondhand clothes so obviously you're not going I'm not going to be able to link anything or show you guys like where to get them but you might get some inspiration of types of clothes um, I think I like watching um, you know op shopping things for that sort of thing and seeing what people pick up for inspiration reasons all right so this was four dollars and I think it is super cute. Um, it's got like all of the female heroines um, from superhero comics. Um, what does it say on here? So it's the DC comic bombshells. So all of the DC female characters sort of uh, all put together in this one shirt and I just thought that was really cute so for four dollars yeah I like it alright so this one was five dollars and very me colors the black and the pink um, and stripes as well very me um, really like the little pocket in the middle there with it's got little silver it's actually little silver studs on it very very tiny ones um, it's sort of a three-quarter length sleeve and you know it might be a bit warm for this time of year but depends I mean today's been a bit 
cooler. Um, a little bit muggy though, but um, I think it's super cute though. So I love the colors of that and you be sure to see that in a video coming up soon because it's very much the um, Lady of Feywood colors. Now I have to be honest and say I've actually worn this one um, already. <laughs> I couldn't wait. It was sitting up here and it was a really hot day and I just decided to get changed into it. Um, and it's this very pretty uh, kind of gypsy hippie-ish uh, dress. I'm going to go back a bit further so hopefully you can see it a little bit more. So it's a short length just past the knee for me. Oh no, it was just past all. Yeah, just past the knee. Um, I've only worn it the once, but I did like it. It's got a, a tie up on it. It reminds me a lot of the clothes from um, Holy Clothes and if you haven't had a look at those at their clothing have a look I haven't bought anything from there yet but I've definitely drooled over it and would like to get something from them uh, but it reminds me a lot of that and it's you know very nice detailing there it's like something you'd see from you know Ishka or places like that which Again, it's in Australia. I don't know if you guys have it, but I, I really like it. Um, down the bottom, it's got nice detailing as well. Yeah, it's just really pretty. And with the salvos in Australia, um, they have different colored tags, and then each week they'll have something that's like half, half price for the certain colored tags. So I think I had a couple of things in here that were half price. So I can't remember which ones, but it worked out to be around about $30 total for everything. All right, so I got this little hoodie. So it's got a nice little hood there. Um, it's like a thinner hoodie, which I like. So a little bit more lightweight. I love the rainbow color through it and through the arms. I think that's so cute. Um, it's got like some paint work there. Um, looks even hand painted feels kind of hand painted um really like that so it's very very pretty what's the label say modus baghdad modus baghdad 100% uh, cotton made in nepal which i think a lot of the styles of these type of um clothing are made in nepal i've had people ask me I've got another top that's sort of like that and I had people asking me where it was from. Um, I wasn't sure at the time because I just went to a, um, I think it was Supernova actually I bought it from. Um, but yeah, so a lot of stuff like that from is from Nepal and I love that style, it's really nice. I think that was $9 if I didn't say that. Um, this one was $5. Just a simple brown striped top with a little bit of a lace up, you know, detail up there. Just really good casual top. So yeah, quite like that. All right, so one last thing to show you guys and it is this very cool corset. All right, so got this really cool corset. So this um, I got from Jen. Um, she bought it as possibly part of her costume but it didn't quite fit and so I ended up buying that one from her and it's quite a nice one it's got the lace up there and just that really nice brocade style of material in a nice deep brown um, it has if I can grab it a little kind of strappy detail that comes around and does up um, over here there's a little link so you can have you know that little chain loop thing hanging off and um, which is hard to show right now but it looks quite nice when it's done up and I've tried that on it looked really good so I actually I'm thinking I'll probably wear this 
um, to the mythical markets as well as the other things that I'm planning to make um, and my um, dark crystal necklace as well I'll be wearing so I think that'll be really cool all right guys well I'm not going to keep you any longer um, I just had those few things that I'd got and wanted to share with you all um, I hopefully you've had some inspiration from some of that stuff uh, whether it be some clothing inspo, something that you enjoyed, um, maybe some of the makeup. Uh, if you would like me to do sort of a um, follow-up video with some of the makeup that I've been using lately and um, you know report back on how I like it, then I can definitely do that. Um, or maybe another sort of get ready with me with some makeup. Anyway. Let me know what you think, um, and I'll see you all next time. Oh, and also hit subscribe. Haha, <laughs> I always forget to say that. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. Why am I doing all this with my hands? I'm not sure. Um, yeah, look, definitely hit subscribe and, you know, stick around because it's all sorts of fun to be had, hopefully, on this channel. Um, I try to make it fun anyway, and inspirational, and, you know, all of the rest. So I hope you find it that way, um, you know, and even if I'm a bit flat like I am today, hopefully it's, it's still enjoyable for you guys because I enjoy doing it and enjoy sharing these things with you and, you know, um, yeah, I mean, because it's one of those things like sometimes it's hard to find people that are into the same things that you're into and actually a lot of my friends um, are into all different things and not a lot of them are into the stuff that I'm into. Um, so, you know, it's really fun to be able to share it online and find people that are into the same things and all of that. So anyway, I'm rambling. I'm going to go. Um, thank you so much for tuning in and we'll see you next time at Faywood. Bye guys.